Hi, this is Eric Lenask here at the uh, Cloud Expo in New York, and I'm talking now with Kevin Epstein from CloudShare. Hey, Kevin, thanks for joining me. My pleasure, Eric. Uh, so, uh, for those of our uh, viewers who aren't familiar with you, who's CloudShare? Oh, great question. CloudShare is a three-year-old startup. We've been shipping product for about a year, and we just came out of stealth about four months ago. Uh, we're backed by Sequoia Capital and Charles River Ventures, as well as Gemini Capital. And we like to think of ourselves, at least, as sort of WebEx for virtual machines. So, are you targeting the same customer base as, as uh, WebEx and, and, and other similar providers? Absolutely. Uh, some of our leading customers already, even since leaving Stealth, include SAP, Cisco, VMware, McAfee, and others. And again, these are customers. And what they're doing with it um, is, again, I use WebEx for virtual machines. We can lift virtual machines into the cloud very quickly, and then, having created a set of virtual machines, let you create copies of that and hand those out to whoever you'd want, be those end users or prospective customers. Um, just like with WebEx, you'd use a PowerPoint. With us, you actually use full sets of virtual machines. We're effectively IT as a service. So, do all of your customers uh, use CloudShare the same way? Interesting point. Uh, we've seen the initial adoption is largely within software vendors selling software. So as a proof of concept, for example, you could use CloudShare instead of going on site for a week. That way your sales engineer can quickly give a full environment to someone over the web that they could run their data through. Instead of flying out there, spending a lot of time dealing with Homeland Security and flights, setting up on a customer site and effectively spending 85% of their time as a cable monkey versus doing value added work with a customer. As CloudShare, you can press a button and make that environment available instantly. So sales demos for software are big use. Mm -hmm. Also IT training, again, for obvious reasons, if you want to hand trainees a number of environments very quickly and then quickly pull them back. Uh, we retain control of the environment or you as the customer retain control. And of course you have a dashboard to look at the whole thing. So sales demos, training, tech support, or for that matter, other remote IT uses, such as remote office provisioning, offshoring, overseas development, or anything where, again, you'd like to use a Star Trek teleporter and teleport an entire rack to those people, but you'd like to, at the same time, do it quickly and retain control of those machines, software, and that environment for patching, management, security, and so forth. Besides, then you'd also have to uh, beam over the IT staff to handle, manage, and support it. Exactly. We like to keep our IT staff central without beaming them over. Um, tell me about uh, fast upload. Uh, Fast Upload is our, uh, our trade secret, although a secret no more. We just announced that a few days ago. Uh, Fast Upload is a technology that lets you take an existing VMware virtual machine or set of virtual machines. So if you're already a VMware customer and you're running 5, 10, 50 virtual machines and you want to move them into the cloud quickly, the name Fast Upload might be a giveaway here, we can move those in in 15 minutes or less. So as opposed to the traditional mechanism where you'd have a an FTP site that might take you a few days, or you'd FedEx a hard drive full of virtual machines. Instead, we can simply fast upload all of those virtual machines directly into the cloud. Why the recent uh, increase in interest in cloud services? That's a great question. Um, cloud services in general, as a category, and cloud share specifically, of course, we benefit, uh, provide additional flexibility to customers provides a significant decrease in capital expenditure, increase in the ability to be responsive. So I think that it's the inevitable move. We go from centralization to decentralization, and cloud uh, provides you with the ultimate in centralized cost control, but decentralized usage. So I think it's the future. Plastics. <laughs> Where can people go uh, to get CloudShare? So CloudShare, uh, the enterprise paid edition, is available at our site, www.cloudshare.com. Mm -hmm. And we also, again, recently announced for you or for anyone viewing at home, there is a free edition of CloudShare. And that is available, again, free of charge, fully functional edition of CloudShare for an individual or small business user. And you can use it for your business uh, at www.cloudshare.com slash pro, as in professional user. And we'd welcome everyone to try it. What's the difference between that and the enterprise version? So our, our pro edition, the free edition, uh, restricts you to only six virtual machines in a single environment, mm -hmm. and you can only pass out 10 copies of those per month. It also has fairly limited analytics, sort of one tab versus our enterprise edition, which looks more like salesforce.com with 10 or 15 analytics tabs, increased additional graphic capabilities, more virtual machines, more ability to hand things out. 
Again, our enterprise edition is used by Cisco and VMware. The Pro edition is meant for a small business or individual user. Excellent. Uh, we're talking here uh, with Kevin Epstein from CloudShare. Kevin, thanks for joining me. My pleasure. Thank you.